This screencast is about bar graph LED displays and how to use them in logic circuits. Here's what a bar graph LED looks like. Notice this little notch on one corner. We'll come back to that later. Here's what the bar graph LED looks like on the back. So we could draw it something like this. Inside, it's made up of a whole bunch of individual LEDs. Occasionally, there will be a notch on one corner to show where the anode is. I showed you this before. Here we have this notch that means the anodes for each of the LEDs is on this side the cathodes for each of the LEDs is on this side. Whenever we hook up LEDs, we need a resistor for each LED. So with a bar graph array, we can use a resistor array to make things simple. Notice that in this case, our signal comes in on this side of the bar graph display and the resistor array is on the other side of the bar graph display. This is different than how we would connect things if we were using a resistor array with something like a dip switch. Here's what it looks like inside. So now we can see the individual resistors in the resistor array like this, so that we can see that each LED is in series with the resistor to the common pin, and our signal is on the other end from the resistor. So if we're using these in an active high configuration, it looks like this. Now we tie the common of the resistor array to ground, so now the circuit goes from our signal through the LED through the resistor to ground. So, because the current will flow this way when we have a high signal, then it's a high signal here that will make this LED turn on. In an active low configuration, now the resistor array common gets tied to VCC and our signal is still on the same side. However, note that the bar graph display has been turned around because now our signal comes in on the cathode and the anode connects to the resistor array. So this is why it's active low because now it's a low signal here that will allow power to flow from the VCC through the resistor and the bar graph to ground. Here's what it looks like on a breadboard with an active high setup. We have the common of the resistor array tied to ground. So now, if our signal feeds in on the anode of the LED, then that will flow through this resistor to the common pin and the ground, and so it will turn on. So again, a high signal will turn this on. Here we have an active low setup. For an active low setup, now you'll notice that the common pin of the resistor array is tied to VCC, and our signal will come in on the cathode of an LED. Again, remember the LED display has to be turned around from what it was for the active high setup. So now our signal feeding in here, a low signal going through here, will allow power to flow from VCC through the resistor and the LED to our low signal to turn it on. 